Wow, wow, wow. Oh my god. Would you look at that? I uploaded. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to another Sundercore devlog. Today I have a few new features to show, as well as a new design to the second level. So make sure to subscribe and like the video, let's get into it. If you've seen previous devlogs, I'm sure you can see level 2 has had a serious change. The art has been cleaned up quite a bit, and it's had a slight palette change. Just for comparison, here's some old gameplay. As you can see, it looks very different. Right now I only have one of the level 2 rooms done, so you're just going to see the same room being played over and over again, because it's the only room that's being used in the map generation. Cool. Okay, so previously, there were these maggot enemies on the second level, and I got a, a lot of great ideas from people in the comments on how to improve them. Before, they just kind of moved around the room randomly, that was kind of their, uh, their main behavior. But now, whenever a meat-based enemy dies, so for instance, one of these uh, mafia pigs, the maggots will crawl over to their corpse and uh, start feasting on them. They'll slowly grow in size until they burst into a maggot fly. You kind of want to be careful around these guys because you can easily get swarmed if you let multiple of these flies spawn. This kind of makes you strategically take out the maggots first before killing the, the meteor enemies. Once I got the main behavior down, I did a few extra animations, but there's still a lot more to do. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with it right now, so I'm not going to change it for a while. Somebody in the comments suggested I make the table spawns for enemies a bit more obvious, which I, I have to agree with. Their uh, the little shake they did wasn't very it, it wasn't very clear which tables were going to turn over and enemies were going to spawn at. So I added a, an alert notification on the tables that spawn the next wave of enemies. This definitely works a lot better than before, and I I think it's still a surprise to the player because you don't get much time to prepare. But it's it's a lot more clear where the enemies are coming from. Just a little disclaimer, I'm currently working on the dash feature right now. It's being kind of switched up and changed to something new. I'm not ready to show it off now, uh, so it's been disabled while I've been recording all the footage for this video. So uh, if I get into situations where it's, you know, it's like, oh, why didn't he just dash out of there? Uh, that's why. Yet another suggestion from the comments of the last video is the player reload. This is something that I've been needing to add for quite a while, but I just never got around to it. I first started off by just giving a, a very basic alert to the uh, to tell you that you need to reload your magazine. So when your clip is empty, it, it just flashes like a, a reload thing above them. And then when you press either the reload button, which is OR, or if you try to shoot again with left mouse button, it will reload the gun. And the, the bar above will fill up depending on how long the reload takes. All this UI is subject to change. I tweak the UI every so often, uh, so this art may not be permanent. I then thought of having the character spin his weapons a after he reloads, or while he reloads. Uh, kind of like a, you know, like a cool western character. Putting up, or, oh, well, there's a holster lift to bring it in and back into the holster and around. But I'm not sure how I feel about it. Looks like he's got two propellers in his hands. Uh, I had a bit more time to work on the reload, so I just went and finished it. Um, cha I changed it from the, the helicopter propellers. So now it, he just raises the gun up a little bit and then ammo clips fly out of him. Which, it, it doesn't need to be a really detailed like reload animation, so I think I think this will do. Uh, some feedback in the comments would be appreciated though. There's been a few other little changes I've made, uh, specifically to the player character art. It's kind of hard to see, maybe, but I've just kind of straightened up his, like, fixed up his head, made him a bit kind of sharper. I don't know why I like giving myself extra hours of work, literally hours, to change the sharpness of his ears, but thought it looked bad, so I fixed it. Anyway, uh, I think that just about does it for this video. Uh, as I said, I'm working on something big to do with the player dash, and then I'll be working on the second level a bit more, filling it out, and then moving on to the third level. But until next time, uh, 
see ya.